Good shit. And that right there, fellas, is going to muscular failure. Failing at an eight rep mark, right? That's literally the perfect number right now. None of y'all stopping me, don't need the axe, chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes, crossing eyes, stopping T's, lines are blurred, I cannot see, for I die, I'm top three, for I die, I'm top three. You tell me how many reps I gotta do. Okay. Okay. What is going on, YouTube? You are back with the Prez here in Juniper Park today, bringing you another upper body push-pull routine. The previous routine you guys saw I was doing heavy pull-ups as well as supersetting that with all shoulder exercises right so i'm going to stay with push pull today but obviously the pull-up work is not going to be heavy and we're going to focus more on weighted dips so we're still going to be supersetting for the most part of the routine but the routine is going to start now with weighted dips and my goal now is i don't really want to keep bringing to the park for weighted dips 150 160 pounds right and just because i'm in this cut now I have to get over the mentality that I'm always going to be able to maintain or even build strength, right? So you still want to be able to push as much load, as intensity as possible, right? You want to be able to still handle as much intensity as possible to maintain the muscle mass that you have. But pushing for new PRs and trying to stay more in that, you know, 85 to 90% of your one rep max, especially on a lower calorie, right? You're going to put your body into more stressful state, right? The recovery is going to be harder because you're lower on calories, lower on energy. And those routines, those really heavy sets are really uh, fatiguing on the nervous system, right? So they're gonna require a little bit more recovery. So I'm still gonna be hitting weighted sets, but now I'm gonna teach you guys how to continuously get stronger and progressively overload when you're stuck with limited equipment, right? Not that I'm limited to equipment, but I'm gonna cap my weighted dip workout for now at 115 pounds, right? This way I don't have to carry too many weights. I'm gonna bring two 45s and a 25. And remember, hypertrophy. Hypertrophy ranges fall within five reps up to 30 reps, given that the set is taken close to failure, meaning the intensity is there. So in order for it to be a, a set of five, you would have to be on that fourth and fifth rep just about hitting failure, right? That means the intensity is high. But you don't wanna do five reps with a weight that you could do 10 plus reps with, right? Because then you're leaving all the reps on the table that are effective. So you still gotta fall within that almost failure range, whether it's five reps up to 30. So right now, a couple of days ago, I hit 115 pounds for one set of 10 reps in dips, right? And that's all I did, and then I did drop sets. So now the goal is, I'm gonna try to work up to straight sets. So today's goal is three sets of 11. I'll be happy if I just hit the 11 on set one, because that's already progressive overload. And then on set two and set three, I really don't care if I hit nine reps and then seven reps, right? So now I know I have a goal of always getting one more rep on the first set, and then trying to do better on the second and third set, right? So the one first set will be our top set, and we'll always try to progressively overload with that. So until I can theoretically go to 30 reps with 115 pounds for one set on dips, I can continuously get stronger and build muscle just using 115 pounds. So we're gonna get some warm up sets in guys and I'll show you guys the working sets only today, the super sets and everything. And listen guys, if you guys wanna support the channel, the best thing you can do, come on guys, besides buying a program, I, of course I always appreciate the comments, the subscription, subscribe, share the channel. You guys want to rock some bar natural gear you guys know i got all new merch we got t-shirts it's summertime out everything is high quality count and thick stitched on bar natural logo in the front reps and sets are built by the bar on the back on the tees we got the tank same thing guys thick high quality cotton 100 percent cotton guys you don't want to be wearing that fake shit, right that dry fit all that shit is chemical especially when you're sweating it's all seeping into your body right remember your skin is the biggest organ on the body you don't want to be absorbing all those chemicals, especially when you're sweating. So we got the tanks, 100% cotton, stitched on bar natural logo, reps and sets are built by the bar on the back, and uh, barnaturalfitness.com, you can find everything. Let's get this work.
warm-up sets done, body weight dips, 45 pound set, 90 pound set. I didn't want to show you all of them. And you saw I was doing some back warm-up also, some scapula pull-ups, and some fast explosive pull-ups as well. Like I said, this is gonna be a superset workout. The only set that's not gonna superset is this first round. I'm going for a top set now of weighted dips, 115 pounds, and the goal is to get 10 or better reps. So one main set here for dips, and then for the next two sets, we'll be supersetting them with pull work. So let's strap up, we got two 45s and a 25. Yo, you, you didn't. Nah, you look like somebody. You, you didn't say that. Man, you look exactly like that. Alright, 115 pounds. I haven't seen you in years, but you look like somebody's trainer. Crazy. Like I said, guys, hypertrophy rep ranges 5 to 30. So I can continuously build muscle and get stronger this way until theoretically I can hit this for a 30 clip and it's taken pretty much to failure, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to continuously get stronger for minimal equipment and I'm just going to be using this 115 every time you see me doing weighted dips now. All right, I'll take the 10, like I said. I caught 10 a few days ago at the home setup. That's a little more optimal, right? I have higher setup, rogue rack. Here I got a bend. So from here on out at the park, 10 reps is what I have to beat on my next top set, right? If I can hit 11 reps on my next, not the next set today, because I'm gonna go for two more sets. The next time I train this movement, a couple days from now, I hit 11 reps, that's progressive overload, and mass will be accumulated. Let's get it, guys. Go. Easy. Let's go. Four. Come on. Five. Clean. Let's go. Push these. Strong. Let's go. One at a time. That's it. Big breath. Seven. You got one more in you. You got one more. You got one more. Good shit. And that right there, fellas, is going to muscular failure. Failing at an eight rep mark, right? That's literally the perfect number right now for him to literally build a ton of strength as well as a lot of volume and overall muscle mass, right? Because if he can hit now sets of six or seven for two more, he's still gonna acquire over 24 total reps in three sets. That's great for hypertrophy. It's gonna stimulate a ton of strength building. All right, guys, second set. So we caught 10 on set one. Now, I really don't expect to catch the 10 again on set two. If I do, more power to me. But now we're gonna start super setting. Like I said, it's a push-pull routine. And the intensity is very high on these push, so the pull intensity obviously cannot be as high or else you're gonna 100% overtrain. You're gonna lead to injuries, right? So pull work is gonna be body weight, but we're just gonna scale the body weight to a slightly more difficult variation to L-sit pull. So 115 again, let's go. Right, I'm gonna stop at eight just because I don't want to hit a failure set. Right? I don't want to go for nine and fail because that will have a bigger drop off on the next set to come, right? So, right to the pulls now. Sick. All right, 10 rep on the L6. Probably could have pushed out 12, but I don't want to go to too much failure or, too, or acquire too much fatigue yet. Still want to get a couple more supersets going. Let's go. Guys, third set. So I'm actually going to drop down to 90 now. 
and then drop right into a 45, right? So I'm not gonna go for another 115 pounds just because I feel like now I'll probably have a big drop off in reps, right? That eight rep was really hard on that last set. So 90 pounds, max reps again, drop right into a 45, right into our pose. Right, I'll take the eight on the 90, right down to 45. Yo, peace, Jay. I'll see you around. Yeah, see you around. Before you bounce, yeah. for sure. Nice to meet you, brother. Let's go. Right to the Remember, bringing your pull-ups into that ELSA variation is going to dramatically increase the intensity of the exercise, right? And remember, like I said, you're going to manage the overall volume and intensity. Remember, intensity, when we're talking about it now, I'm referring to max load. So my load here is still body weight. I'm just making the body weight harder. So the overall load is staying the same. Just the leverage is increasing the intensity. So it's not going to have that overtraining effect than if I was doing heavy weighted pulls now because that's gonna be a lot more fatiguing on the overall nervous system right so three sets of dip work done two supersets with the pulls like I said there's gonna be more a push based workout and the pulls are just lighter volume I mean lighter intensity higher volume so let's get it let's go last set for who 90 pounds easy money clean Clean, clean, five, let's go. You got at least seven, at least seven. Get the eight, easy, come on. Keep going if you want. There we go, right to the 45. And remember guys, remember what I said in the past, these drop sets, right? They are not advantageous for building strength. Because now your body is going from 90 to 45, and that 45 is going to feel just as heavy. So the stimulus is a false stimulus now. But for hypertrophy, to push out more reps, it's very sufficient, right? But for building strength, this would be counterproductive right now. But we're going for muscle building now. Let's go. Clean. Money. Let's go. Good shit. Let's go right to the pulls. What did, you do? what did you do over here? L sit. Might be able to kill the L's right now. Nice pump right there. Clean. Super clean. Money. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. And that's it, guys. If you have to drop to an easier variation, just tuck your knees. You still get the reps out. Still harder than regular body weight. That's what I'm talking about. All right, going on to a weighted push-up. Listen, this is a very effective way 
to load up your pushing movement, right? Your, you got vertical movements and horizontal, same thing with pulling, right? You could do vertical pressing dips or horizontal pressing push-ups, like a bench press is a horizontal press, right? So what we wanna do here, guys, find the parallel bar. You can do this on parallels on your, at home. I'm gonna, it's, honestly, I'd rather have my legs together, but because I'm doing them on the dip bars, because I want that clearance, right? So 45 pounds, I'm going for volume now. Ideally sets of 10 plus, superset with body weight, three bar pull-ups. Come on. Come on. Clean. Definitely a hard attempt than I expected. Ain't in the front. Are you going to work holes? Clean. Let's go. Two more. Let's go. Let's go. Money. Let's go. Get another one. Clean. All right, 16. Could have pushed out a few more reps, but again. Killed it. Try to not go to failure. Two more rounds. I'm not going to film the next two rounds. Right? I don't want the video to get too long and repetitive. And I'm in a rush now, guys. I'll probably hit two more supersets and then one more burnout set today. Let's go. All right, guys. So we only ended up doing two supersets of the push-ups and the three-bar pulls. I ain't gonna front. We're both feeling extremely pumped right now from those first couple sets of weighted dips to 115, right? Merc dot chest. And those L-set pull-ups were tough, right? Then we hit high volume on those two supersets right now. So we're definitely feeling... Halfway there. Come on, we're going back to back. Five, 10 push ups, five chin ups, every minute on the minute for eight minutes. Jeez. Did the clock go yet? I heard something say half a 30 seconds. All right, so we got about 30 seconds now. You're going to get a timer? Probably 10, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, guys. I was on the money. Clean. Halfway there. Nice. So just like that, guys, you guys can make the email partner routine. One person starts on the minute, the next ten seconds. And you guys will stay on the minute on the minute on the same thing together. You guys don't need to do different times. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
And the reason why we're doing eight minutes, that's all the time I got until my next client. Halfway there. Ten seconds. You guys want to avoid elbow injuries? Don't just stick to one grip forever. Oh. Yeah, the strength work, hypertrophy, and endurance. All in one session. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Sure, you get that motivation when you got a partner. That's the halfway mark right here, halfway around. Halfway there. These workouts are going to be very psychic, uh, demanding, meaning they're going to want a lot of carbs to be the fuel source, right? There's going to be, if you, you know, on a low carb diet, you're going to hit fatigue a lot faster than you would if you're eating sufficient amount of carbs prior to this training session. 10 seconds. Let's go, six in. Kill it up. Halfway there. Ten seconds. go. You work to your limits. You push, you get as many reps as you can, fight through that heart rate, fight through that uncomfortable. Halfway and there. Feeling right now. See where your growth happens. When you push through uh, unfamiliar territory. Let's go. Easy. Ten seconds.
okay. We don't leave no man behind. Halfway there. Let's go. Let's go. Seven, eight. Let's go. That's it. Ten seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Last one, best one. Let's go. Good money. Sad story, I ain't here for a symphony, no sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling, my time's coming.